the first time in history, press and newsreel cameramen witness, at short range, the explosion of the world's most powerful atom bomb. Yucca Flat, Nevada is the target area in an operation designed to test the bomb as a support weapon for ground troops. A battery of cameras make ready to fly over the blast to record every detail. More than 1,400 selected troops scramble into trenches three and a half miles from the center of the blast, the nearest human beings to an exploding atom bomb since Nagasaki. Zero hour, and overhead, the plane carries the bomb set to explode at 3,500 feet above the ground, the greatest altitude yet attempted. And this is it, illuminating the Earth with the glare of a hundred suns, seen 75 miles away, even in brilliant sunshine. created by the terrific blast sucks up the sand like a cyclone, creating a sandstorm that envelops the day's GIs as they leave their shelters. In a matter of seconds, the familiar mushroom of changing colors develops, rising to 35,000 feet as a vortex of sand ascends to meet the top of the cone. Another phase of this atomic display is carried out with precision as paratroopers drop directly over the target area, which owing to the height of the explosion is kept almost free of radioactive contamination. The airborne men join up with the ground troops to complete the destruction of an imaginary enemy already stunned by the awesome blast. Now the explosion in slow motion. See the bomb blast tearing the rocket trail sent up simultaneously to measure the height of the rising column. The camera analyzes the whole breathtaking sight of an eruption equivalent to 25,000 tons of TNT. Had this bomb fallen on a big city, half a million would have been killed. Meanwhile, the world asks, if this is the pinnacle of man's creative genius, then surely world peace is not beyond his reach.